the extras tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use type with patterns. And first thing here is to go over to the type tool, horizontal type tool, and then just select there on the document on the artboard, put some type, then resize that. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger than there. So press return. Once you've done that, go to the layer menu and then bring up the go there to layer style and pattern overlay. So see pattern overlay there. Once you've actually got that displayed, just bring that up a bit so you can actually see that. You've got all the various patterns. Now these ones are graphic extras patterns, but of course you can load any patterns that come with Photoshop as well as any patterns you create yourself. You can also set the scale. You can also align the design as well. You can also use pasty and blending modes, etc. So you can move it around. It's in blending modes, difference, overlay, etc. etc. Depending obviously on the colour of the actual text itself. I'm going to go with normal at that point. So once you're happy with that, click OK. And there you've got type design there. Now it's alive still, so if you actually don't change the word type, you can change it to something else. You can also go to the layer menu, convert it to a smart type, and then apply effects. Go to the filter menu, Gaussian blur. Just don't want to go too far, just blur it like that. Click OK or cancel depending on what you want to do with that. Now I'm just going to remove the type now. So once you've actually done that, so you've got pattern overlay. No other options particularly you can do there, so uh, just say pattern overlay. If you actually use the convert to smart object, you can actually continue adding more smart objects on top of that as well. It's another option. Now also here we've got the horizontal type tool, but if you've got your standard Photoshop menu, the toolbar, you've actually got oops, cancel there you've got a horizontal type mask tool as well you might stuck it in the extra section I like to I don't use it that often so uh, just going to resize the actual type there you can change it obviously to myriad aerial etc now just type that press return and once you've got that you can of course go to select menu transform selection and then there you've got that there now you can actually go to the edit menu and you can fill that. So just go to edit and fill. But another option you can go is new fill layer and pattern. Click OK and give it a name obviously as well. You can also move the pattern there just as before like in pattern overlay. Basically go for all the patterns. Say these are graphic extras ones. You can set the scale. Click OK and then you've got the design. Now it's still live so you can go back and edit that at any point as well. Reselect that, you can then apply effects by the filter menu, just say blur, etc. Or maybe do other things, flatten the image as well. So just go there. You can also apply brush strokes to that uh, pattern as well, just modify it, or use adjustments and that much more. So also you can go to the pattern stamp tool and then you can just apply the same pattern. You've got the pattern see the there, all the patterns, and change the brush there and just select the patterns again as before. So select the pattern and then just brush the pattern over there very quickly. And of course you can apply it just locally. So you can go and change the pattern, maybe use a different pattern there, like a purple one just there, and apply the actual pattern to the type of thing. Right, hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much. Graphic extras for lots and lots of pattern resources.